G'day guys, my name's Dave Tran and welcome to another Throwback Thursday edition of a Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in today's lesson, I'll be teaching you how to play Hurt by Johnny Cash. This song was originally written and performed by Nine Inch Nails, but Johnny Cash did a cover of it just before he passed away and it sounds absolutely amazing on acoustic guitar and it's really, really easy to play as well. So for the basics, you'll just need your guitar in standard tuning, you won't need a capo and you'll need to know five chord shapes. Now if you want to master your chords back to front then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. The five chord shapes are A minor, C, D, G, and finally F. Alright, so let's start with the intro slash verse. And it's just based off three chord shapes. We have the A minor, the C, and finally the D. And we're just going to be arpeggiating these chords, which means we're going to pluck the notes one at a time. So for the A minor, you're going to pluck the bass note, which is the fifth string. Then you're going to pluck the fourth string. And then you're going to pluck the third, second, and first string all in one smooth motion. Like that. So the A minor section will just sound like this. One and two and three and four and... So you hold on to those last three notes until the end of the bar. Again, one and two and three and four and... And then we go to our C chord and we're going to basically do the exact same thing. So the bass note, which is the fifth string, then pluck the fourth string, and then we're going to pluck the third, second and first strings all together. One and two. Like that. Now up here in the tab, you'll actually see two notes that have brackets around them. And basically what this means is that it's just optional to play these notes. I prefer to play them because it sounds a bit more full, but if you don't want to play it and you just want to skip it, then that's fine as well. If you were to skip it, the C would just sound like this. One and two and... But if you wanted to play it, you'd go back to the bass note on that end beat after the two. So one and two and... A bit slower. One and two and... And then we go to our D chord, and we're going to pluck the bass note, which is the fourth string. And then we're going to go to the third string and pluck that by itself. And then we're going to pluck the second and first strings together. Again, there's an optional note after those three plucks, which is back to the bass note, or the fourth string. So without the optional note, it will be three and four and. But with the optional note, it will be three and four and and all together the riff will sound like this without the optional note one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and then this is what it sounds like with the optional note one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and then you just repeat that over and over again for the intro and verse now I'll just repeat that riff so you can hear it in succession. Now there's one small variation that you might hear in the second verse and the variation just applies to this A minor chord. Instead of plucking the notes on this A minor three times, we're going to pluck it four times. So we start with the bass note, then we go to the fourth string, then we go to the third string, and then for our fourth pluck, we just pluck the second and first strings together. So the variation of this riff, which occurs at times in the second verse, will sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and Now we'll get to the first chorus, and the first chorus is really simple, it just has two lines of chords. The first line of chords is G, then A minor, F, and then C. The second line of chords is G, A minor, F, and back to a G. Now the strumming pattern that we're going to adopt for this chorus is just all down strums. So it'll sound like this. One and two and three and four and. One thing to note though is that we're going to be accenting 
the on beat strums. So where we have one, two, three, and four, we're gonna be accenting or playing that strum harder. And on all the end beats, we'll just be strumming them lightly. So if we're playing a G, for example, the strumming pattern will sound like this. One and two and three and four and... Notice how on all the end beats, I'm just plucking it really lightly. I'm just hitting the bass notes just very softly. But for the accented strums, I'm strumming all the strings. So for the chorus, we're gonna play that first line twice and we're gonna play the second line twice as well. And you're gonna play one strumming pattern for each chord. So the chorus all together will sound like this. One and two and three and four and... You then play another verse, and then we go back into another chorus. Now the second chorus is basically exactly the same as the first chorus, except it's extended a little bit. So the second line of chords now is played three times, and we have a third line of chords. Now this third line of chords is identical to the second line, so we have G, A minor, F, and we have G. But just for this last G chord, we're going to strum it once, there's no strumming pattern there. So the last line of chords would sound like this. And that ends the song. So that's it for Johnny Cash's version of Hurt. Now I'm going to be doing a playthrough with a vocal track on top, so feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. If you want to see more videos in the future then hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave your thoughts, comments, questions and requests below and I'll see you next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers. So